What's up peeps? It's time for another NFL nail art tutorial. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we do mostly live application, but I'm doing some tutorials right now in honor of NFL season. And this is the Pittsburgh Steelers nail art that I came up with. Um, it kind of goes along with the video that Tim did um, about his um, nail polish picks for the NFL. So as you can see, I'm using OPI the It color here. You don't have to use this color. This is just the one that I chose. Um, but you know just a nice golden yellow for the accent nail it's gonna need um, a white red and blue it doesn't really matter which one you pick I'm also using um, pretty serious absence which is the black but for some reason I didn't show a picture of that but that's pretty important for this manicure you need a nice you need a nice opaque black and that one is amazing um, so anyway just some just some colors there for the accent nail they don't really it doesn't really matter what they are but I'm showing you what I chose so for all the nails except the accent nail you're gonna do two nice coats of your yellow gold polish um, the reason why basically we're just gonna be creating a stripe of color with the yellow but you want it underneath because it's not gonna show up um, over the black so paint the yellow down first and then what I'm doing is I'm taking my um, striper brush and I'm going to just mo like mock out where that stripe is going to be there as you can see and then I'm going to take um, the nail polish with the full brush and just fill the whole nail in so that's what you want to do for all the nails except the accent nail and I really really like um, the nice striking appearance that this one has so yeah I enjoyed um, that, that technique for that one it worked out well for me and then of course you just clean up a little bit acetone and a little concealer brush from elf and then this is going to be your accent nail I painted it with black now this tutorial is a little bit different than the last ones I did in this series because I am using my uber chic stamping mat for this I wanted to try it out and see how well it would work for creating a decal because that's one of the main reasons that I picked up the mat I talked about this mat a lot in my haul that I did like a couple weeks ago so you could watch that haul if you want to hear more about the mat but anyway um First, I painted a coat of base coat down on this little nail um, spot that they have on the mat. And then I took white, as you can see, and painted that circle there. You have to wait for these to dry quite a bit um, in, order to in order to successfully create the decal. So anyway, um, the Steelers like, logo has these three little asterisk looking stars and the bottom one is blue so that's what I'm mapping out right now it's basically going to be the same process for all the three stars but I just kind of created a, a cross and then I'm putting in the swooping nature of the little star so this looks really really big to you right now because I have it super zoomed in but as always on my nail tutorials um, I'm painting on a very very small surface so Take your time with it. Get a really, really thin brush. Um, I actually usually use acrylic nail, or not nail polish, acrylic paint when I'm doing really fine work because it doesn't dry as fast as nail polish, so it won't get as tacky as fast and you'll have more success. But I'm using the actual nail polish colors that Tim picked out for the Steelers today. So, um, you know, it went okay. It was, it was okay successful, I guess. But anyway, so I'm trying to just get in there in this really tiny, small space and get these little stars to look the way that they should and I think the reason why I started talking about let's see if I can remember my train of thought about how small this is is because you're gonna be able to see like mistakes I mentioned this in almost all of my videos but you're gonna be able to see you know things that aren't exactly perfect this up close but don't worry don't don't let that worry you because um, from anywhere that's not super zoomed in like can you imagine staring at your nail as close as you're looking at this right here you're never gonna be doing that so um, at least other people aren't you may I guess choose to but anyway what I'm trying to say is don't worry if there are little mistakes because they really won't show from far away so anyway I'm taking the Alaska color by Avon this kind of nice gray color it's a light gray and outlining the circle because that's how their logo looks um, as well and then after I've got that in there basically I'm gonna just um, firm up some of the spots that I just wanted to clean up a little bit so like I said you don't have to do this next part but you can if you want to so I'm taking my white and I'm just gonna go over the space enough times so that you can't really see that bottom color from underneath because I'm not really a perfectionist because you know a look like this would probably drive me crazy but like I just told you, I tell myself, you really aren't going to be able to tell that much from far away. So anyway, I'm just showing you how to clean it up a little bit so that 
you'll be satisfied with it. So then, um, anyway, you're gonna do this and then let it dry for a long time. You couldn't see that there because I just kind of edited right through it. And then you're gonna carefully ply it up off of there. So anyway, just top coating over it. I was frustrated with this part. I didn't give it enough time to dry. As you can see, I smeared it a little bit, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so that's the finished look and that was really fun using that decal process. I, I talked in the haul video about, you know, pros and cons of that process, but so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you guys are having a really great day. Thanks for hanging out with me some and I love you guys so much and I will see you back next time. Bye.